New York City to Los Angeles. If you didn't already know, if you're new to Sweet Potato Soul, we just moved to LA and we drove the whole entire way. It took three weeks and we had so much fun. So today I'm gonna show you one of my very favorite stops. No, my definitely my very favorite stop along the way and everything we ate there. New Orleans, amazing place, not that vegan friendly, but we still managed to eat such amazingly delicious food. And this video is sponsored by New Orleans' own Camellia Bean Company, which I have loved for a very long time and I've also worked with a lot in the past. So let's get started with all those yummy things. So we're there on the 4th of July, but because it's New Orleans, everything, almost everything was closed, not the bars. So we ended up eating at Whole Foods for breakfast and lunch and sitting there for hours just to work. But at the end of the day, we got to sit on the banks of the Mississippi River to watch the most amazing, beautiful fireworks display ever. We actually arrived the night before on July 3rd and once again, there wasn't very much that was open, that was vegan friendly, but we did find this really great restaurant in Marigny called Silk Road. It's like an Indian fusion restaurant, super good. We had an Indian platter, and we also had this delicious green Thai curry. They can't stand the sea. On July 5th, when everything was back to business, we went to this restaurant that I'd been to before called Meals from the Heart. We're having breakfast at Meals from the Heart. Well, we haven't gotten our food yet. We just sat down and ordered. We're gonna eat some vegan pancakes. Their pancakes are the best. And we also ordered the vegan veggie apple patties. They sound so good. So we're gonna have that. We also had a black bean cider, which was delicious. Everything was delicious. But then later in the day, we went and had lunch at Seed. We are walking now to Seed Restaurant, which is, I think, probably the only fully vegan restaurant here in New Orleans. I might be wrong, but we're gonna go have lunch right now. It's like 100 degrees outside, very hot, but we're walking anyway. They can't stand the sea. At Seed, we had these really great hearts of palm cakes, even a vegan po' boy, oh, and even vegan beignets. Another vegan friendly restaurant we went to was Sneaky Pickle out in Bywater. It was a little weird, the ambiance, but the food was really good. We had this beet flatbread thing with something on top. We also had a salad with watermelon and a lot of like crunchy nutritional leaf stuff. It was good. But the very best meal was at Shia, this Israeli restaurant in Uptown, New Orleans. It was so good. So Shia is not vegan, but the waitress went through our menu and marked up all the vegan options. So sweet. And get this, they make their own pita in the restaurant and they've got this huge brick oven thing and it's literally the best pita I've ever had in my entire life. And it was served with all these dips, like muhammara and all these different hummuses, but like, like a curry that vegetable one, and like a mushroom one. Oh my gosh. We had like this cucumber tomato salad it was so fresh. We even had falafel, like fancy fried and extra delicious. Everything was terrific. Stupendous. We liked it so much that we went back the next day and had avocado toast, because I really wanted to try it. I love avocado toast. And it was as good as I thought it would be. And actually, I'm not sure if we would have even known about Shia, but the Camellia Bean Company took us there for lunch. And that was actually right after we got to tour their facilities, which is so cool. I love going on any factory tours, but when it's beans and a product that I love so much, it's extra fun. So we got to tour the factory and facilities. We got to meet the people who work there. It's a family business, so that was cool to get to meet the family. And we just had so much fun. I even got to take home plenty of beans. 
The next day I decided to soak one of the bags of the Lady Cream Peas, which are such amazing beans. Make sure you get them on their website because they're just creamy and delicious and easy to cook. So I soaked them so I could cook them later in the day, which I did. For part of our time in New Orleans, we stayed in an Airbnb so that we could have a kitchen and cook for ourselves. Because, like I said, New Orleans is not the most vegan friendly, and even though we ate at really great restaurants, we still want to cook for ourselves. We still want to have really nice, fresh, healthy, home-cooked meals. So with those beans, after I drained them and rinsed them, I cooked them with garlic, onions, a bay leaf, also some dried spices as well. And after they were nice and soft and tender, I added some pan-fried field roast sausages, some red chili flakes. I served them over some microwavable red rice. It was such a delicious meal. Oh, and I topped it with some nice, fresh parsley too. I'll post this recipe below, but I'm also going to do another recipe using camellia beans, which I'm going to post in the coming days, so make sure you follow my Instagram and Facebook so you don't miss the little notification about that. We had a lot of leftovers of these beans, so we ate them for a few days, but we even took them with us when we went to the Whitney Plantation, which is definitely a must-see. Make sure you check it out if you're ever in the New Orleans area. So some other stuff we made in our Airbnb. We did a nice salad with lentils, pepitas, shallots, and dressing. And we also made a beet and cucumber salad with the leftover dressing from the other salad. And one thing that I oh, can't wait to make again that we made for breakfast was this delicious cold brew coffee smoothie. Good morning. We are in our Airbnb here in New Orleans. And for breakfast, I have my blender here with me, so I'm gonna make a smoothie. I'm gonna do banana, raw cacao, and cold brew coffee. This is a New Orleans like staple, and they apparently invented cold brew, at least in this weird form. It looks like it's in a bottle of like antifreeze or car coolant or something. But I heard it's really good, and this coffee is actually fair trade, and it's New Orleans style, so it has chicory in it as well. So we're gonna make a quick little smoothie with that for breakfast before we start our day. Thanks so much for watching guys. I had an amazing, incredible time in New Orleans. It is definitely my favorite city. And if you've never been, make sure you visit New Orleans. It's so cool. And also, thanks to Camellia for hosting us, for introducing us to Shia, and for sponsoring this video. I'm gonna post a link to Camellia's website right below where you can buy all their products and all their amazing, delicious beans. And if you don't already follow Sweet Potato Soul on Instagram on, or Facebook, make sure you do because I'm gonna be posting the recipe, the new Camellia recipe on there. And also, I mean, I just post stuff every day. So make sure you follow. And of course, subscribe here to my YouTube channel. And if you're new to Sweet Potato Soul, welcome. I'll be posting more videos from this road trip. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.